Good evening, sir. Could you please give us a few words about your impressions of the IA debate today? I think that all presidential candidates acquitted themselves well, particularly that today is the last of the debates. And I think that all of them did exceptionally well. Um, what, what you can see clearly is that it appears that all of them today had documents to flip through so they could be able to make their case. And so if that was the order of the day and the presidents will always have to carry material, I don't have a problem with it and they did well. My flag bearer concluded on a note of peace and said that leaders who are chosen by, by their political parties must respect the kind of utterances they make. You can't go on one platform and be shouting all that be die. You can't go on, on one platform and be talking about a and inside tribal or evoking tribal uh, uh, sentiments in our nation and then you come and sit on one pl platform and you are pledging peace that is not the democracy we are talking about that all of us must be committed to the peace of our nation and for me that is important that he stated that he was available to retire all the other three contenders and to ensure that he was able to govern but in order to do that he was asking them to pledge to him on this platform that when the results are declared and he's leading they will not do anything untoward to bring about the destabilization of this nation and its peace on many other issues my flag bearer was spot on on the issue of healthcare delivery in this country he spoke eloquently on it on the media he has indicated how unhappy he has been on uh, with regards to some of the pronouncements the writings that the media has put forward and clearly um, it goes to endorse the fact that in Kurmas is that the power of the media to do good is great, but it's the power of the media to even do harm is greater. Clearly, this is the case that the PNC is suffering because we have not deliberately created media houses to support cases. You see, any media house decide to denigrate us. And I have listened to Kabna Ajapong, and I'm totally devastated, questioning why PNC will go and choose somebody like us and Ayarga. Let me put it in the reverse. Why should an MPP go and choose Nana Akufado, who will be talking war all the time. The people of Ghana are disappointed in people who are not committed to peace, who will shout war, who will evoke tribal sentiments among the people of Ghana. And when you have such leaders, you expect the MPP to be able to bring them to order and not to be attacking other presidential candidates from other political parties. Okay, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.